Potentially positive news for Alzheimer's patients and their families. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services says it will cover a new class of drugs meant to slow down the early stages of Alzheimer's disease in the brain. But the coverage will require patients and doctors to take an extra step. Well, the headline sounds great, doesn't it? <laughs> They're going to cover this drug. But the devil's really in the details. The Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services says it will cover the price of an expensive class of new Alzheimer's drugs once they get full traditional approval by the FDA. They are drugs that research shows can slow the progression of mild cognitive impairment and mild dementia in the brain. So there are now three drugs that have been demonstrated to remove some of this amyloid protein from the brain and slow the clinical progression of the disease. We haven't had that prior to this, so this is very important for our patients. The FDA has already granted accelerated approval to the drugs Aduhelm and Lakembi. Full traditional approval of Lakembi is expected next month. A third drug, Eli Lilly's Denatamab, is expected to apply for approval this summer. Even after traditional approval, the CMS will require doctors and patients to enter a registry to further study the drug. It kind of creates another barrier for patients, doesn't it? It absolutely does. Absolutely. Because if you think about some of the rural communities in Minnesota, they really might not have the time to do all of these things and the financial burden that it would bring to the clinic or the physician that are administering the drugs. The purpose of the registry is to collect more data on how these drugs work in patients outside of clinical trials. But then that next question is, okay, so what do hospitals, clinics, physicians need to do? What does this registry mean? How can we get people access to this drug? And Susan Perriott there from the Alzheimer's Association says the timing is critical with these drugs. They're only effective on patients at the very earliest stages of Alzheimer's and dementia. And every day, about 2,000 people progress out of the stage of their disease that could benefit from these drugs.